Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number 14. The war with France does not go well. But that's because we were blockaded for a while, we've lost a few... Have we lost more than one heavy or armored cruiser? My goodness. We can always pay tribute to the fallen if we look into our... Uh, need that a little further. Uh, ships on column. And it looks like... Can we sort by this? This is per... Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> it sorts by the... <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, Frederick. Come on, Naval War Simulation. <laughs> this should be a no-brainer. Okay, good. So at least I know what... <laughs> they're even sorted by <laughs> the Windows system where the ones go first. To, to <laughs> I gotta get off this screen. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. So, do we lose any? These are the four we've lost. Let's take a look at their lost dates. Uh, yeah, we've lost two in this war. The Rosie and the Aegis, I thought so. Um, they went before their time. Had just been retrofitted. The 1908 retrofits. Uh, unfortunate. So, that this is obviously what's contributing a lot to our victory point uh, loss. Or, yeah, we're losing in the victory point war, is what I'm trying to say. But, um... Also, the blockade that happened for us for a long time, just stemming from my naive understanding of where the f French for home port is. So now we, strangely, are not being blockaded, even though it's 162 to 203. Um, maybe, if we get lucky, our few battle battleships that we left in the Mediterranean, I might, it, this game is kind of inspiring, like a, a really terrible type fleet composition disposition, I should say. It seems to promote putting battleships and only battleships in the, the strategic areas. So that way you don't have to fight light cruiser engagements. You just fight battle, the battle cruisers either invade or if they fight, they win because they're battleships, right? And, you know, if they're going to go up against uh, armored cruisers, they're going to win. But uh, I don't, I'm not going to cheese, I'm, I mean, I will consider cheesing the game so severely if... I really feel it needs to come down to that. Now, a uh, big note, I spent a long time off camera getting everyone into a destroyer. So we have like 150 plus names. Um, and I was, at first I was like, okay, I'm gonna give everyone one destroyer and then I'm gonna go back through the the ones I already named. I'm gonna give everyone Kingfisher and then Kingfisher 2, Kanata and then King Kanata 2, the same way I do. So this is because the Highlander sank, so this is the reincarnation of the Highlander. Um, feel free to submit yourself as a, a destroyer if you have been sunk. And I think the best way of doing it would be just, um, I think it would be most fitting if you add yourself in as the new ship being the second, uh, like the Highlander. I, I kind of like that. If you have a new design, new name that you really want to use, you may use it, but my preference would be to do this. So it, we can, it kind of pays tribute to the original ship that was lost. Anyway, um... I was planning to give everyone two destroyers, and I actually got all the way through the destroyers, and it's just kind of mind-blowing how many ships we have. Now, to the game itself. That was, what, three minutes? Okay, not too bad. Let's just push forward. The idea now is going to be to blockade them in Northern Europe. We have more ships moving back. It looks like both of our Mediterranean ships moving back. Um, we can just vacate the Mediterranean altogether, except... No, I guess we can't do that, right? Because... We're gonna need some ships. Oh, it looks like these these will satisfy our tonnage requirement and the rest of the battleships are needed. Okay, fair enough. We will not lay down our arms lightly. Thank God, I would be very upset. Ah, okay, so now we have destroyers up to 1,100 tons. Very good. And uh, the USA has decided to join the war, which is actually, oddly enough, a godsend because well victory points will be reset I was waiting to actually show it but we didn't get there so a convoy attack in the Mediterranean with one single light cruiser this does not bode well but I think I, I was gonna say but that's not so bad because I don't think they have much in the Mediterranean but I if I'm not mistaken they have armored cruisers here which means this is just gonna be a simple about faced and run away um, we won't, we will definitely, oh, this is a convoy raid, okay. Um, we will definitely not run away from fights if 
we're taking like severe damage like for that but in these absolutely impossible to win scenarios uh, I just don't see any reason why we should risk defeat it's kind of silly so we'll go up to fast and hopefully we'll lose this ship and we could actually cycle back around okay let's try uh, go down to cruise this is annoying because otherwise we just I, it shouldn't matter because our victory points are actually reset it's so funny I'm so glad that this always happens when I'm ahead in victory points this is the first time that resetting thanks to a war I mean a new person joining the war is actually gonna help me how convenient so I'm still going to putz around hoping to run into the convoy ships. If we just think statistically, I'm more likely to run into the convoy ships than I am <laughs> likely to run into... I mean, there's more convoy ships than there are light cruisers. I mean, armored cruisers. Which direction were they sailing? I don't know. Uh, it looks like they were heading north. So it's a minor victory, but this shouldn't matter because... It doesn't reset now? Did they change it? Maybe it only resets if you're ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm that pessimistic about things in the game sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's take you off. And I want you to actually move somewhere. I don't care. And then I'm going to cancel your movement. I really don't want the mingle to meander away. So let's just do it this way. I'm hoping this forces him not to go to... Um, foreign station mode again after this. That is the thing. If they're on foreign station, it seems like when you take them off, they still stay foreign station. So, okay. So what are the what's the situation? Well, we're at war with two people. We don't absolutely don't have the resources to fight two wars. We just really gotta hope our dreadnoughts get involved. This is it. I mean, if I could, and this is the problem with playing as Britain. I would draw all my forces into the Northern Europe area just so I can force a fleet battle. I want a fleet battle. Okay, victory points, one piece, I can handle that. In order to get back in the game though, we're gonna need something a little bit more substantial than, uh, I mean, we, one victory point is not gonna cost us anything, but we still have, we have to worry about every other victory point because we're almost double uh, they're almost double our victory points. My goodness. Ah. Okay. Director firing. My god. It's like we get all these blessings, but we're not able to use anything because... We're not giving any, any battles. I wish... I kind of wish that you could control, or at least not some... Like, somewhat tweak the settings so fleet battles were a little bit more um, common. I really hate raid on coastal shipping, but I'm considering doing this just because... No, let's do it. Ah, no. Damn it. See, I can't afford not to take these battles, though. Okay, and because they are invading, I, I have to respond here. Damn it, anyhow. If I respond, I get blockaded, though. I mean, we're just barely, barely. We're actually less than 10%. I wonder if they changed the thing. <sighs> tough situation. Quite a tough situation. Um, okay, well, we're getting some battleships back soon. I may just choose to send my dreadnoughts out and leave my battleships. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Good. That's what I needed. Holy cow, they sank the rainbow? Whoa! I, that's something that happens when you don't have ships on patrols, but I do have ships on patrols. My god. Okay, well, obviously we have to fight this because... <laughs> Okay. This is kind of irrelevant because she's... Uh, let's go squad max right away. It's kind of irrelevant because uh, I'll probably, I probably won't have her on um, AI control at all, but 
just in case she does go to AI control, because the weather's not that good here. It looks like visibility's terrible. Wind advantage is theirs, but hopefully we bypass them and then, but without getting hit. Okay, now actually turn back, just avoid torpedoes mainly. Okay, now come back in. What in God's name is going on here? Okay, turn in to avoid torpedoes. Well done. We're certainly in torpedo range, that's for sure. Fall on her stern. Fall on her stern. Okay, cut. Good, she should be a goner. And just keep dodging around because we're not sure about torpedoes. I'm surprised this, how many hits did this thing take? I mean, if it took any real 10 inch guns, that's insane and three six inch guns. That's a, that's a damn sturdy, that's a 500, no, it's impossible. This thing must be sinking. Surely it's sinking. This is, <laughs> this is a, cr a cruel joke. Okay, good. All right, now, um, where, what are we doing? What is our objective? Just to sink ships? All right, well, let's just go ahead and slow down to cruise because I don't know where they are and I don't see any reason to putz around at max speed, burn our coal ships out at all. Um, the royalty was the AI control? Yes. So let's, um, let's just do this. Upon royalty, stay with. Thank you. And we'll just meander the seas, seeing if we can find anything. They might come back to the destroyer at some point, so we'll kind of patrol around. Where would they go? Where, what else would they do? I mean, this is good. At least this this is like obviously a stupid battle because they're risking 500 ton ships at the potential benefit of sinking an armored cruiser, which basically would lose the war for us. Considering, you know, that the torpedoes, if they get lucky, especially with the visibility, this poor, I mean, this is just, it's just a disaster. Let's just set sail after them. We're about to see better, I hope, in a moment. But at the same time, okay, where did they go? They had a battle cruiser somewhere. Okay, well we can kind of count our blessings then that they didn't, we didn't actually catch them. But it's, it was a, a victory, right? Yeah, marginal. Oh, okay, 74. Damn it! Anyhow, give me something. Give me a chance. Give me a chance, game. Come on, give me a chance. I'm gonna build some more battle cruisers. I feel like the way to win is gonna be battle cruisers everywhere. So we're just gonna get, you know what, two more. Let's go two more. I think we can handle it. Yeah, so uh, lots of new names and stuff. Hope everyone's happy, they're all in the game. Uh, why not? Let's just go to war with Germany too. Who cares? Well, it couldn't possibly get any worse, right? Man, they are sinking a lot of ships. I think I can't go to rating. Okay, we accept this. They are probably doing over 100 points of damage a turn in submarine stuff. We will have to get our submarines going soon, but I'm just surprised it's that much considering our minesweepers over double the necessary patrol requirement, which is supposed to reduce, yeah, it's definitely supposed to reduce the amount of submarine damage you take and it's supposed to increase the number of kills you get. All right, well, oh, at least this is my Achilles class. So she'll be able to outrun hopefully the is this a battle cruiser? I have a feeling this is a battle cruiser. No? Okay, well, let's go in. Right now, we loathe everything. Okay, yeah, go in hard. Get there before the battle cruisers show up to defend, which could happen. There it is, possibly. Just sink the Denver before that ship gets here. We don't care about the. Oh, that's just a destroyer, okay. Some hits being exchanged, that's some good news for us. Unknown ship, that is, oh god, there's a lot of unknown ships. Sink her and get out of here, sink her and get out of here. Okay, we might have done it. Another one, okay, we will just, on the way out, sink this destroyer. God, they are going fast too. All right, we can get into the port of Spain quickly. Um, we are landing some good hits though. So far, I would say it's in our favor. We did really good damage to that Denver. 
I don't think we're actually going to sink it, unfortunately. But if we stick around, this Chester class, I imagine, is interesting. The calculations are being run in my head. It has eight six inch guns. It has a six six inch gun broadside that is equivalent to ours. It has a four inch belt that is gonna be very difficult to penetrate from any sort of range. But if we get close, it should be, let's look at our penetration profile. Yeah, we're gonna penetrate five inches of armor at 5,000 yards. What's our current, ah, sorry. What's our current engagement range? 8,700 to the Jenkins. Okay, so 8,000 is our torpedo range, it looks like. We need to close to about, well, 5 eighths, so about half of that to get penetrating, surely penetrating hits on the Chester. Oh, God. Hmm. I mean, the Praetor has already done herself, she has already had upstanding service in this one engagement. I don't think we can ask her to, I, I don't think it's possible for her to pull that out. I'm gonna allow her to engage, but only on her way back to port. And I think we'll just kind of look at this slowly. Uh, it could go poorly. Okay, she's focusing on the Minneapolis near miss. It's only six inch gun, so that's the good news. Oh, she must have taken a hit to the engine or something. Turret disabled, yep. Engine room hit. Well, it's not gonna help. It also makes her a little bit easier to hit, unfortunately, but she's doing well for herself. She's still engaging well. I saw I saw a little turn in there for torpedoes possibly. So we'll go ahead and turn and then turn back. Okay, good. Engage from range is just fine. Another hit, but the turret top is holding two and a half inches, I believe. Being chased down by a Chattanooga. My god, this is just <laughs> this is just not fair. <laughs> they had a a battleship, or was it another, was it a battle, I don't know what it was, but they have a lot of darn ships in this area, and they give me one light cruiser. I have fought these on the other, sh the shoe's been on the other foot before, but I have to say, in this series, for playing as the British who should have naval superiority everywhere, I feel like we have naval superiority exactly nowhere. And the Praetor's starting to take a few more hits. Oh god, turrets are being destroyed. Turrets are being destroyed. taking a lot of hits. Um, I think the best thing for us to do is to cut behind. So we narrow the number of guns the Chester is allowed to use. Uh, she actually has that really weird configuration which is gonna open. And yeah, we're down to 13. We are probably not gonna make it back to port. But I don't. Th I think the only thing for us to do is just to run at all speed home. Try to get out, try to get out, try to get out. Launch torpedoes if you have to. Okay, try to get behind her. Okay, just right in her wake. This is good. Now, escape, escape. Okay, right back in her wake now. All this time they're closing behind us. The destroyers are coming. Chase into her wake. Good, good. All right, Praetor, we can do this. Now she's getting her broadside, but just take it. Take it nose on, that'll narrow your profile at least a bit. Good, now she only has one gun. Well, it's a double turret, unfortunately, but we're actually getting hits on the Minneapolis all, all the while. Go ahead, chase, head on. So close, you're so close. You're so darn close. Come on, come on, get in there. Get in there. Okay, chase, nose on. Okay, we have to, no, I think we have to chase nose on still. Is she on fire? No. Okay, now cut. Cut hard, hard. Uh, she's still giving us broadside, but we're getting out of range quickly. They're doing their best. Okay, just make a beeline for the port now. This is all you have. Give her everything she's got. 
I don't have the power. A torpedo. It couldn't. It wouldn't. Uh, didn't. Are there being repels? We, we gotta be. We must be surely so close to port. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Ah, oh. victory. All right, minor victory for the U.S. But let's be honest, that's not. <laughs> that's a still a minor victory in my own eyes. Now, if the game would just give me, please, 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 just give me some way of fighting. Ah. <sighs> Now that minor victory means that the invasion doesn't go goes a little bit better for the US. <clears throat> I'll be damned. Let's just do this. <laughs> Can we st put a stop to this madness? Coastal bombardment. 65 victory points seems to imply let's just take it we need to stop declining i can't okay is it ah, damn it unknown ship sided where oh below us okay all right kestrel and kanata oh it's my kingfishers all right the gay viking kanata and kingfisher kingfisher herself the namesake destroy bombardment target where are you over there all right, well, at least that is not in a port. Okay, this is at least a good bombardment target that we can engage. Um, but let's go investigate what this is. Take you guys off of AI control. Turn you into support, line ahead. All, make all speed this way. Are you guys also part? No. Okay, so we have some AI divisions going on. This is an unidentified ship which is moving not at all. Okay, it's three of them. Squad max. Get there as quickly as possible before they can start moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get there quickly. Get there quickly. They're doing the smart thing. They're turning away. And if this is multiple... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? How the heck am I supposed to deal with this? Okay, move just towards the target then. Obviously, we can't engage three battle cruisers with a single armored cruiser. Um, I forgot to bring you guys with me. Sorry. Go ahead and you are in the correct location actually and we actually this is actually the most frustrating thing about this is that i have so many dreadnoughts and battleships in northern europe and i can't use them i want to see how this darn class this is just the most frustrating series I've, <laughs> i mean it was frustrating when the japanese were constantly getting screwed in the diplomacies but i just want to use the ships i'm building these dreadnoughts, these battle cruisers, you know, you, you want to use them. Uh, and there's definitely a side to the realism where it was not always common for uh, big fleet battles to occur. You know, they shouldn't be every month. But they still happened, you know, twice a war. And we have not had such that such luck. So let's get these guys to go squad max. Don't even know what's going on here. We're just going for the bombardment target. We're getting in. We're killing it and we're getting out. In a moment here, I'm going to engage torpedo launching. Um, our dreadnoughts are engaging. The most recent report is here. We are engaging. I don't know if you saw in the reports, the longs. It's in, yes, it's showing up here now. Our renowned class is firing at somebody. God, I want to go see what's going on. All right, well, it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> if we can't actually join the battle, I mean, we won't be able to take control of them, but all right, let's sink this guy and actually, okay, this is it. This is the one who's sighting everyone. So. Is the renown here? Yes! Okay, all right. We're gonna manage to do this after all. In fact, the Brunderbrook, Brunderbrook and the Vanguard have actually taken care of our situation. <gasps> wow. All right. Well, how, this is extremely interesting from a tactical standpoint. I have to say I'm just, Obviously, much rather be able to control these ships. Can I, can I influence them? 
No, I don't think so. Let's see if I do. I do! Okay, all right. Well, we have some limited control of these guys. We actually are going to be able to somehow turn this into a fight. So bizarre that the, I mean, this is a obviously a bad, a negative product of the game code that I can take control of the ships like this, but all right, run ahead, my friends, my wonderful Kingfisher, and do your duty, which is corral these guys into a firing position for my dreadnoughts, who I will make sure continue on their steady way towards the enemy ships. We have a chance here, we have a chance. Um, turn off, and I will specifically forbid you from launching torpedoes. Did you already? No, good, because that's a dead ship, and we need, we need those torpedoes, those are definitely needed up ahead. Okay, make all speed to the south. Make all speed this way. Here we go. They're coming in from the west side too. Oh my gosh. All we have is two dreadnoughts. What, who, what, oh, a Firefly Witcher. Gentlemen, these are all Kingfisher class. This is gonna be interesting. We also have the Karasfort, which is an Achilles class. She's already engaging. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Really interesting. I want to corral these ships so that my dreadnoughts get a chance to fire at them. So they are speeding off. Okay, we can ourselves personally remove the True Day class from the engagement. Here are here our brave Kingfishers go. Their goal is somehow to stop this Turville so that we can gun it down. And our ships, unfortunately, are only moving at 20. And 20 even is a blessing. Okay, we need to maybe make a calculated decision to engage the correct enemy. So, slow back down, pull away. We'll use you in another moment. Let's just engage the target at hand, which now is going to be the fleet of dreadnoughts approaching from our west. Okay, so steady yourselves. Form the line this way, Vanguard. Kestrel, support. Destroyers ready to move in, and here we go. All right, engage this Indomptables. And those are what, 11 inch? Yes, we can engage these. Let's go. Ready, steady, let's go. Yeah, we'll pick up survivors. Every victory point is gonna matter, I think. Um, let's put you on the outside. What am I getting here, battle division? That's the one I want. I don't care if I have to tell this person where to move every single turn, I just don't care. Okay, I tucked back in. 20, Kestrel. 20, course here. Here we go. Are those guys turning about? No. Let's do this. Now I am hoping that my, uh, it looks like I am gonna have to babysit them. Uh, I am hoping that my two dreadnoughts can take on three French. This is just what we're going to do, we're gonna hope. We have nothing else to do in this battle but hope that that's, that's possible. And we need to roll the dice here. No, sorry, Vanguard. You need to move this way. Because if we don't roll the dice, this we may not get another chance at any anything resembling a fleet battle. Okay, we are attacking. We are engaging. Yes, go ahead and do that as well. Kestrel, your only chore is to take this Trudy out if she gets close, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Okay. We kind of have control. We have the wind advantage, that's the good news. Nope, stop. You will move where I say, Vanguard. Okay, they landed the first hit. No, we, what? Ah, we won't be able to see the hits. Well, that's frustrating. We actually landed a 10 inch shell from the Kestrel though. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of weird. Can I even see the ship? Okay, I can. Oof. That was a pass through. Critical hit, my god. Are you kidding me? Wait. A 
There's nothing with 14 inch guns engaging us. We are the ones with the 14 inch guns. Am I crazy? Are these not all the same? Is it showing me the report for what the damage is that he's doing? This makes sense. This is our damage, obviously. I think this is the hits that we've done. Fire control, fire control damaged. It's a 14 inch. I didn't know that, I mean, you can't see what damage you do. We fired and I don't know, I have no idea what I'm seeing here. <laughs> the battle cruiser down here was 14 inch, I believe, but we never got in range of her, right? It's like 16,000. Okay, I'm seeing hits though. That's okay, we're gonna have to ride this one out. I'm just gonna click every single time. We're gonna close, and you know what? As soon as we have some light cruisers in the game, it would be nice if we actually could, uh, is this? All right, let's just let them fight. If the AI wants to pull away, that's fine. That probably means they wanna close, they wanna deny the enemy the range. Get the gay viking over to sink these minesweepers. Kanata is getting pelted. Where's the Kanata? Oh, what? She's a secondary though. Why this strange way? How are you? Oh my god. Okay, so log these entries. Yeah. Now, this is definitely. This is. My god, this is definitely uh, the damage that she's getting. I don't understand is where she how she got shot so shot up by the battle cruiser so quickly. Why she didn't return the favor. The problem is that we're not going to be able to do much damage this way because uh, she's going to be turning so often that when you do course corrections, it does limit your accuracy. Well, um, let's just go engage these then. Hopefully the Vanguard by herself is going to be okay. The Brunderbrook. I have no idea what kind of damage we're doing to these. Light, medium, unknown. Come on, get out of there, Kingfisher. Go home. And the Turville's coming back up. Okay, we need to reassemble. We are kind of reassembling. And we need to go engage. That's what we have to do. This is what we can do, and that is engage them. So let us do this. This is their port, but we have mines outside of it. All right, come on, guys. Give her everything. We'll switch you over to the line of breast in a moment. We're actually still getting... Uh, that's a, not as important of a hit. Come on, come on, speed along, speed along. Vanguard's actually taking some hits now. Ooh, she's heavily damaged. My god. Turret destroyed even. Yep, now's the time. Now's the time. Okay, first close a little bit more. Line of breast turn together. And here we go. Turn in. Perfect. Oof! Gay Viking hit is down. Come on, come on. Steady, boys, steady. Steady, boys, steady. Steady, boys, steady. Kanata turning. Fine, turn, launch, 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 launch. Please launch. Does she get on fire? My god, she's on fire. <laughs> Things are could be going better. Come on, Katana. Kanata. Launch those torpedoes. You can do it. Launch those torpedoes. Launch. Okay, turn them back in. Just oh, we're gonna put you right inside of them. Gay Viking, just go back. You're kind of useless. 
Come on, Kanata. There's the torpedo launch. Ah, Kanata. Damn it. Okay, Kanata's gonna take the shot, so go ahead, Gay Viking. Gay Viking's still getting clobbered. Fine, get out. Ah, so frustrating. Terrible engagement. Okay, well, um, oh, why is the Kingfisher still here? Can I, you're, can you not get yourself killed? Oh boy. Well, we can try to go after the Turville, I guess. I mean, hoping that these battle dreadnoughts help us. We always have Dover to fall back on. I see some light cruisers. Okay, Kingfisher, what are you doing, buddy? I, it's like I don't even have control over <laughs> the Kingfisher. <laughs> She's doing her own thing. Maybe she needs the Viking to come down so she can like reconnect. Um, okay, well, if the True Day is gonna just charge right at us, we will circle around. It's such a strange battle. Very difficult. Obviously, I couldn't really control these ships. They're now gone, so we have to watch out for ourselves a bit. Um, Kingfisher, I don't know what you're doing. I can take you off AI control. Is the gay vacuum just detached because of damage? I guess so. Okay, so it's actually the Kingfisher I need to control. Yeah, go squad max. I mean, feel free to launch your torpedoes, Kingfisher. I didn't ever... Please say, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. I had this off the whole time. Ugh. I do that at the same time I change all these things and I didn't change those things. So it's gonna be difficult to get into a torpedo range. I think we're just gonna sail home. Very difficult to do stuff against three dreadnoughts and our dreadnoughts have sailed off God knows where. So we're firing at another unknown ship. I kind of feel like we should go help. What's our damage? Okay, the Kestrel herself could. Certainly the Kingfisher can. But the Gay Viking is gonna retire. Has actually la launched a few torpedoes, thank God. Two, two, uh, two. Gotta, we gotta get torpedo uh, warfare going. I think we already have it though. It's a strange thing. Okay, she, I guess she just went in on her own. Didn't even specifically tell her to go in. All right, let's go see what's going on over here. Some kind of engagement, which we want to see what's going on. Okay, I think that's their destroyers there. There's our Vanguard. And the Brunderbrook. That's good that we have two ships. What are we, what are we firing at, gentlemen? These are all friendly ships. <laughs> oh, well, I see a good torpedo spread. We can try to mimic that. Pretty sure that's the... Okay, we're going to cut them off on the south then. Get in there and cause as much havoc as possible, Kingfisher. You have my permission. Okay, launch torpedoes. Oh, night on the, the cover of Nightfall. Get nice and close, Kingfisher. Turn. Launch. There. Okay. She's sinking. Oh my gosh, it looks good though. It looks good. It looks good. Kingfisher, the hero. The hero that we need. The hero that we deserve, but not the one we need right now. One hit. Oh, these don't look good, but this one could. Oh, another hit. Oh my gosh, Kingfisher. The hero. <laughs> the hero. <laughs> she dead stopped. Oh my gosh, she's dead stopped. The Kingfisher, what have you done? Have you single-handedly turned this back in our favor? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. We have to go save those survivors. We have to go save those survivors. Heroes all. Victorian crosses all around.
Kestrel is going to do her best um, effort to cause us to lose, but we follow in the wake. I just want to make sure we can sink these as well. Oh, forget it. Go for the Lalonde class. We can still gain even more out of this. The Tourville is moving, technically. There's the Lalonde. Okay, we're punishing her. Good, good. Cut across. Okay. Now, this is the real challenge is going to be holding torpedo fire until we get right up to this Turville, and we're going to try to sink her. Two torpedoes to an early battle cruiser, devastating, but maybe she limps home. We have to put an end to that, risking life, limb, everything for king and country. And for the new king, King George V. Launch your torpedoes, Kestrel. Launch your torpedoes. Come on. Launch your torpedoes. I mean, this is also good, getting some damage on. We can just pelt away. She is mobile. Mobile. Moving, basically. <laughs> so we really... Come on. Torpedoes. Torpedoes. She's gone. She's done. Oh, the Kingfisher. Well, three cheers for the... Oh, God. Destroyers. Get them. Look, when we're down this much in the war, probably losing the Kestrel would not be worth it. But they're surely going to be picking up survivors. That's a few hits. Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her. That's another one. Yes, yes. Hunt them down, hunt them down. Stay in the wake. Don't ram, though. God, don't ram, don't ram. Please, no torpedoes. Okay, they're actually hitting us. It might actually be a light cruiser. It is. <laughs> Amazing. We picked up one more light cruiser thinking it was the two destroyers which just passed us by. It's funny. We're just patrolling up and down the French coast. This has just been a, a crazy battle. What um what just a what a just roller coaster of a battle. Up and down and up and down. And I still have no idea who's winning this one. <laughs> Maybe our renowns were sunk on the way back to port. I have no idea. Okay, let's just um yeah, keep pumping those Things from the rear, that's good. Now I feel confident that this Cosmo is going down. We'll go ahead and maneuver out of out of range. Okay, good, good. And yet, maybe it's still, maybe there's still time to hunt down those destroyers. Where were they going? Yes, let's do it. The Kestrel is right now the, not, it's the actual, the Kestrel of Death. <laughs> Her mission, secure every victory point that we can. Here we go. Okay, now, watch out for torpedoes. Follow as much as you can in their wake. Good. Do whatever damage you can here. Squad max. Keep angles, keep angles, sharp angles. Good. Okay, um, cut in, cut out, good. Close, come on, land those hits though, you have to land those hits. They're doing good job, show enough. Okay, there's one, we just need something. Give a broadside or two. No, what's our um, accuracy like right now? Rate of fire is down. Deliberate fire. We don't have much ammunition left in our secondaries, I guess. We fired 1,700 rounds. I mean, that's from all the guns, obviously, but... 440 tenant shells. Wow. Okay, well, they're going to hit the edge of the coast. They're going to cut back this way. That's surprising to me. Okay, this is more what I was expecting. Come nose on. Nose on, and wait, wait, broadside. Oh god. Cut behind, good. Hit. That was your chance, Kestrel, that was your chance. Another one. Is it the same one? Another hit. Okay, we're doing some damage here. Another hit. I'm gonna keep pursuing them, you know? 
Obviously, the disaster that can happen here is that we get torpedoed, but I think if we can continue to... Oh, wow. What? An identified ship? Who's hitting us? I... If I did, I report that right? An identified ship. Five medium guns. We don't have... There's no... Okay, let's just return home. We've done what we can here. If we're being attacked by an unidentified ship, if it's anything other than these destroyers, we, we're in big trouble. Because, And we've done a lot here already. So let's just go ahead and mosey on home. Plus, it's uh, getting to be 45 minutes into this video. And I'm really curious if this is a win or a loss or what, what, the, what the heck is even going on here. Okay, so let's go up to ultra fast speed and wait for the last hour to tick out. I'm going to take a drink. All right, here we go. Knock on wood. Major victory. We've we've done it. We've done it. Two destroyers lost at the cost of two light cruisers and one battle cruiser. Only medium damage to our renowns. We actually did heavy damage to their dreadnoughts. An exceptional victory. Wow. These Renowns only have heavy guns. <laughs> I forgot about that. I still really want to take control of them, but... Things were going a lot better for us than I thought. Two Dreadnoughts took on three opposing Dreadnoughts and one Battlecruiser. Sunk the Battlecruiser, although I have to say that was surely at least partly, if not all, the efforts of the Kingfisher. So... Three cheers to the Kingfisher, to the Kingfisher class, which I think is an exceptional destroyer. It's only 900 tons, but you know what that means? It's extremely cheap, cheap to produce. We'll probably spam out a ton of destroyers at this point. We've seen their effectiveness. The loss of two destroyers for us means, what's, what's the cons what consequences does that have? The ones that are sunk, 1,724 points. Compare that to the 60,000 that we inflicted. 60,000 points we inflicted. Uh, the Brunder book is worth 100,000? Wow, 24,000 tons versus 90,000. Okay, that somewhat makes sense. So anyway, um, that's going to conclude this video, obviously. But I think this is a fantastic... Oh, look at that. Uh, what's the best way? This this was the turning point. Battle of Boulogne was the turning point in this war. And with tensions very high with Germany, things are on edge. This could be a world war. I mean, it's already a world war in the sense that France... United States and uh, Great Britain are the three biggest colonial powers. And now we have Germany on the edge, on the precipice, really, of war with us as well. Whew. Well, interesting. Very interesting. Longer episode. Hopefully that wasn't uh, too much for you guys. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for more of this dastardly combat with the French, the Americans, and maybe the Germans in the next episode. And until then, take care.